What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about data destruction and disposal, such as physical destruction and recycling or repurposing best practices. Let's talk about physical destruction. So physical destruction is the process of rendering a device completely unusable and unrecoverable. Physical destruction can involve shredding hard drives, smartphones, printers, laptops, and other storage media into tiny pieces by large mechanical shredders and methods to physically destroy mass storage devices include the following. First method is shredders. So hard drive shredding is one of the most effective ways to destroy a hard drive. It involves running the drive through a heavy duty shredder made for destroying hard drives, which cuts the drive into tiny bits. Since hard drives store data on a platter, cutting it into smaller pieces renders the drive and any data on it useless. Next, we have the drill and or hammer. So putting holes in a hard drive destroys its platter and ensures that nobody can use the data on it. It is also one of the best ways to go about the hard drive destruction process because there is no need for the use of any complex machines. Then we have electromagnetic or degaussing. So this involves using a powerful device known as an electromagnetic degausser or permanent magnet degausser, which is used to scramble the hard drive platter so it cannot be read by anyone. Although the drive is still physically intact, all of the data and the control track data are missing. This method is preferred if you want to keep a hard drive simply for display purposes. And then we have incineration. So melting or burning hard drives involves dipping them into acid to destroy their platters and housing. This is one of the most effective ways to destroy a hard drive, but it is also one of the most dangerous ways due to the processes involving the use of hydrochloric and nitric acids, which are very dangerous to the environment and your skin. Now, if you choose to send your hard drives off to a recycling company to handle data destruction, you need to ensure that you get a certificate of destruction. A certificate of destruction is an important document that includes all the pertinent details regarding your shredding service. Following every paper shredding or media destruction service, you will receive a certificate of destruction confirming that your materials has been securely destroyed. Beyond simply providing a peace of mind, the certificate of destruction is proof that the information information stored on the media is no longer at risk and that your business is compliant with relevant privacy laws. Let's talk about recycling or repurposing best practices. So other methods for making data unrecoverable on mass storage devices include the following. The first one is low level formats versus standard formats. So a standard format, also known as a quick format. This is the process of preparing a data storage device such as a hard disk drive, SSD, floppy disk, or a USB flash drive for initial use. This type of format clears only the root folder while the remainder of the data on the this can be recovered until it is overwritten. Long formats rewrite the entire disk surface and low level formats. These are used to initiate a hard drive and prepare it for data by creating the actual sectors and tracks on the drive, as well as the control structures needed to read and write data on the drive. Low level formats are performed by drive manufacturers before the drives are shipped out. Next, we have overwrite. So data erasure is a software based method of overriding the data that aims to completely destroy all electronic data residing on a hard disk drive or other digital media by using zeros and ones to overwrite data onto all sectors of the device. By overriding the data on the storage device, the data is rendered unrecoverable and achieves data sanitization. And then we have a drive wipe. So to be sure that data on a storage device is unrecoverable, the drive must be overwritten with a program that can meet or exceed industry data destruction standards, such as the U.S. Department of Defense, which requires storage devices to be wiped a minimum of seven times. These disk wiping programs destroy all data and partition information to make the data unrecoverable by way of data recovery programs or forensic analysis. If you plan on giving your storage device away for whatever reason, drive wiping is the preferred method for ensuring that all data has been thoroughly scrubbed from the device. 
All right, let's do some of this outstanding check on learning, shall we? So the first question is, which of the following methods provide the most effective way for permanent removal of data stored on a magnetic drive? Is it standard format, overriding data, degaussing, or low level format? So which of these methods provide the most effective way for permanent removal of data stored on a magnetic drive? The correct answer is degaussing is the most effective method. And the next question, which of the following terms is used to describe initial hard drive formatting typically performed at the factory by the drive manufacturer? Is it low level format, quick format, standard format, or high level format. So which one of these is performed at the factory by the manufacturer? The correct answer is a low level format. And the final question is, examples of hard drive destruction and disposal tools and methods include what? Is it a shredder, a drill, incineration, or all of the above? So examples of hard drive destruction, disposal tools and methods include what? The correct answer is, all of the above, all right? So in summary, we've talked about physical destruction and recycling or repurposing best practices. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you prepare for the CompTIA A plus 220-1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.